welcome students this is second video for first chapter now in this video we are going to see msbt e content this is msbt e content for basic science section second is chemistry unit four that means chapter one for chemistry it is chemical bonding and catalysis now first one is atom it consists of nucleus which composed of protons and neutrons then next is chemical force which hold two or more atom together it is known as chemical bond definition of chemical bond may ask then what is uh, ionic bond electropositive element and electronegative element when combined form ionic bond then covalent bond electronegative and electronegative elements both elements are electronegative then electropositive and electropositive then there is formation of metallic bond and electronegative and hydrogen atom it is the hydrogen bond formation one electronegative element out of oxygen nitrogen and fluorine then next is valency that is number of electron lose gain or share to complete the octet it is known as valency then types of valency electrovalency covalency and coordinate valency Electrovalency formed by loss or gain of electron positive that means loss of electron then some examples are given of positive electrovalency sodium magnesium and aluminium <coughs> the valency is also given plus one plus two and plus three then negative valency the valency obtained by gain of electrons it is known as negative valency then examples are chlorine oxygen and nitrogen then covalency covalency mutual sharing of electron it is the important word in the covalency coordinate valency valency obtained by one sided sharing of two electrons or lone pair of electrons then attractive force which hold various constituents that is atoms or ions together it is known as chemical bond now first type of bond is electrovalent bond which is also known as ionic bond which is formed by complete transfer of electrons it is known as ionic bond then formation of sodium chloride it is example of ionic bond see the formation of sodium chloride it is first example then second example is formation of magnesium oxide magnesium atomic number is 12 oxygen atomic number is 8 loss of two electron and gain of elect uh, two electrons for neutral magnesium oxide some examples are also given some other example kcl mgo mgcl2 cao cacl2 these are some other example of ionic bond then properties or characteristics of ionic bonds are given polar they are polar in nature having high melting point and boiling point these are important properties of ionic bond or electrovalent bond then covalent bond covalent bond most important word is mutual sharing of electron there are three types of covalent bond first is single covalent bond then double and triple single that means sharing of one pair of electron that means two electrons for example formation of chlorine molecule there is formation of single covalent bond denoted by single line other example of single covalent bond are nh3 h2 h2o in all these four cases single covalent bond is formed then double covalent bond sharing of two electron pairs that means total four electrons example is formation of oxygen molecule <coughs> see in case of oxygen molecule formation of double covalent bond other example of double covalent bond are co2 co2 h4 then triple covalent bond when three electron pairs that means total six electrons are shared formation of nitrogen molecule it is the example of triple covalent bond other example is c2h2 then what are the polar compounds 
when bonding electrons will not equally share the resulting bond is polar bond example is h2 nh3 hf and hcl non polar compounds are h2 cl2 n2 and o2 the some characteristics or properties of covalent compounds most important property is they have low melting point and boiling point this question is asked in examination then coordinate bond it is also known as dative bond it is denoted by see this arrow example is formation of nh4 plus so2 and so3 these are three example of dative bond see example is given it is denoted by arrow then formation of nh4 cl molecule in this case also there is formation of coordinate bond which is also known as dative bond most important property of this bond is it is directional bond then hydrogen bond it is formed between electronegative atom in one molecule and electronegative atom in same or another molecule that is oxygen nitrogen or fluorine one must be present with hydrogen it is denoted by dotted line this is important point in hydrogen bond it is denoted by dotted line intermolecular hydrogen bond and intramolecular hydrogen bond these are the two types of hydrogen bond intermolecular hydrogen bond it is present in water see this is dotted line it is hydrogen bond while this dash it is the covalent bond this question many times asked a extra energy is required to break hydrogen bond therefore rise in boiling point of water is due to the this hydrogen bond then intramolecular hydrogen bond intramolecular hydrogen bond example is given the next one is water accumulates in cells of animals and plants due to presence of hydrogen bond this question is also asked in examination which type of bond is present in cells of animals and plants it is hydrogen bond metallic bond naturally it is present in all types of metals due to c of mobile electrons or kernels or delocalized electrons then intermolecular force of attraction van der waals force that is the weak force of attraction existing between molecules which cannot be explained on the basis of any other chemical force that is the van der waals force then ionic compounds and covalent compound difference it is not asked in the examination skip this one then molecular arrangement in solid in solid they are closely packed therefore least amount of intermolecular spaces are present and it is very strong force of attraction is very strong and this is the uh, figure which may ask in the examination then molecular arrangement in liquid they are loosely packed large intermolecular space and there is a small uh, attraction intermolecular force of attraction is very small for example water then in gases there is wide space then force of attraction is least air is the example then classification of solid on the basis of bond type they are classified as amorphous and crystalline then crystalline it is classified as ionic metallic covalent and molecular then covalent are classified into two dimensional example is graphite and three dimensional example is diamond then molecular crystals are classified into polar and non polar polar example is water and sugar then crystalline solid crystalline solid the substance whose constituent particles are arranged in definite orderly arrangement is as a crystalline solid for example sodium pyrethroid then diamond graphite sugar sulfur crystalline solids are anisotropic that means their physical properties are different in different direction 
then amorphous example is glass plastic rubber starch amorphous substance they are isotropic that means their physical properties are same in all direction then this is the difference between crystalline and amorphous solid classification of crystalline solid these are classified as first one is molecular solid example is hcl then nh3 water ice then ionic solids ionic solids are nacl kno3 this example may ask in the examination which of the following is ionic solid which of the following is molecular solid nacl ions are formed therefore it is ionic solid covalent solid covalent solid most important example of covalent solid is graphite then next is elasticity in metal these are some properties then unit cell most important point is unit cell lattice point that is the point which represent position of constituent in a crystal it is the uh, lattice point the next one is these are the angles a b c alpha beta gamma then crystal lattice important definition an arrangement of points showing how constituent particles that is atoms ions or molecules of a crystal are arranged at different position in three dimensional spaces it is known as crystal lattice there are 14 types of bravais lattices first is unit cell it is the smallest repeating pattern in a crystal structure it is known as unit cell these are the parameters of unit cell a b c these are the ages and alpha beta gamma these are the angles then types of crystal lattice out of this 14 we are going to see only four total four crystal lattice first one is a simple cubic cell which is also known as sc uh, diagram question is asked figure is given one atom is present then for body center cubic that is bcc see the figure two atoms for fcc that is face center cubic cell see the figure total three atoms then what is coordination number that is the number of atoms touching in a given pair it is known as coordination number for simple cubic cell a is equal to b is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 this is important question coordination number for simple cubic is 6 and example is nacl and polonium examples are also asked then next one is body center cubic cell a is equal to b is equal to c these are the ages alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 it is the angle then example is iron chromium tungsten see the figure hexagonal closed pack structure a is equal to b is not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 and gamma is equal to 120 this is hexagonal closed pack structure example is cobalt magnesium zinc and coordination number is 12 then face center cubic again same a is equal to b is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 example is gold aluminum copper and silver see the figure coordination number is 12 for fcc then catalysis the substance which alters that means change the rate of reaction it is known as catalyst catalysis two types homogeneous and heterogeneous this is the lead chamber process which is used for manufacturing of sulfuric acid this is homogeneous catalysis that means catalyst oxide of nitrogen and uh, reactant both are in same phase that is gaseous phase 
then heterogeneous catalysis when reactant and catalyst are in different phase for example in Haber's process here reactant are in gaseous phase and uh, catalyst is in solid phase therefore it is heterogeneous catalysis then next is uh, positive catalyst that is it increases rate of reaction it is known as positive catalyst example is given platinum it is act as a positive catalyst negative catalyst it retards or decreases rate of reaction example is given ethanol it is act as a negative catalyst in the oxidation of chloroform then autocatalyst it is uh, it take part in product it is known as autocatalyst acetic acid or vinegar it is the example of autocatalyst then catalytic promoter or inhibitor it increases the activity of catalyst for example molybdenum it is act as a promoter in Haber's process catalytic inhibitor it is act as a, it lowers the activity of catalyst for example carbon monoxide it decreases the rate of reaction in Haber's process then industrial applications of catalyst is uh, chlorine gas in the manufacturing of chlorine gas Deccan process is used the manufacturing of ammonia by Haber's process manufacturing of sulfuric acid by lead chamber process manufacturing of ethanol from glucose Zymes it is used as catalyst in the manufacturing of glucose from cane sugar maltase is used as catalyst in the manufacturing of H2SO4 by contact process platinum or vanadium pentoxide is used as catalyst and in the manufacturing of polythene from ethylene Ziegler nata it is used as catalyst this is all about chapter 1 in next lecture we are going to see chapter 2nd that is corrosion and electrochemistry thank you